Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Dining with Desica. Today I will be preparing my delicious Southern tomato gravy meatloaf. Done my way, so let's get started and let's do this. On today's menu, we have my delicious Southern tomato meatloaf. Served up on the side is my buttery corn and my buttermilk chive mashed potatoes. Served on top is my delicious tomato gravy. We are going to preheat our oven to 350 and in a large bowl, we have two pounds of ground chuck. You really wanna mash this ground chuck up before we get started adding our seasoning. First, I have one tablespoon of black pepper, Next, I have one tablespoon of parsley flakes. I have my one tablespoon of ground beef seasoning. Next, I have one tablespoon of my garlic powder. Of course, I'm going to use one tablespoon of Whiskaser sauce. And next, you really want to use your fingertips by mixing all of your seasoning into the ground chuck very well. Next, I will be adding one half cup of Quaker's oats. That's the raw oats. You want to add this into your ground chuck. Make sure you take your time and mix it in very well. Next, I will be adding, that is, one half cup of sweet chopped onions. Also, you want to blend this in. This is optional. Next, I will be adding one half cup of chopped really fine, that is, Bella mushrooms. This is also optional. But let me say, adding these mushrooms hold the moist inside of the ground chuck so once it's baked it keeps its juices and its flavors i don't know about you guys but there's nothing worse than preparing a dry meat loaf man i tell you so you must try my recipe okay now we're gonna form our meat loaf now there's no rule to how you want to form a meat loaf it depends on the pan that you use and it could be square it could be round I prefer using a ceramic dish okay so I placed it in here I'm going to let it bake for 45 minutes to an hour next you want to preheat your stove top to 350 you're gonna add one cup of water and you're gonna add in tomato paste now I like to make my gravy with tomato paste you can get italian tomato paste it doesn't matter you can add your own herbs which i choose to do i am going to add a teaspoon of parsley flakes and i'm also going to add a teaspoon of garlic and i am going to sprinkle some chopped chived green onions add a portion of this to your meatloaf while baking I removed from the oven, placed into a beautiful dish, and I have spread it, the remaining of my tomato sauce on top of my meatloaf. Now I'm going to add gravy on top just before I start to slice. This is the juices that came from the meatloaf. Okay, so next I am going to slice my delicious Southern tomato meatloaf. Okay, look how tender that is. And it smells so good. And the juices are just flowing from this meatloaf as I slice it. This is a serving for six. So you can always continue to add your tomato gravy over your meatloaf. And the side dish I have prepared earlier to go with our delicious meatloaf is my buttermilk chive mashed potatoes they are delicious with my tomato meatloaf 
Also, I'm going to add my delicious tomato gravy all over my buttermilk chive mashed potatoes. This is going to taste so delicious. I am over here mouth watering. I am so hungry. Okay, for another side dish, I will be adding my delicious butter corn on the side, which is a great side. You can also do green string beans. You can do chopped asparagus. You have a list of variety of side dishes you could use. Okay, next I'm going to taste it. So, let's give it a taste. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. Voila, here you have it. My delicious Southern tomato meatloaf done my way. So don't you guys forget to subscribe to Dining with Desica. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and enjoy my delicious, moist Southern meatloaf. Love is love. Until next time, enjoy.